I don't know about you, but I never seem to use the same set of words when I search for something online. I even try to use different combinations of a word for the same thing in hopes that I'll get better search results. I'm sure that I'm probably confusing the search engines. Now imagine millions of people that may be searching for the same thing like car, but they're using different words like automobile or sedan, coupe, convertible, ride, and maybe even whip. With billions or trillions of rows of data, how would you combine these terms to see how often people search for the aggregate of car across these words? And how would you even know what to combine? Fortunately for us, there's a brilliant data scientist named Fan Du who's working on solving these problems for us. Let's have a look at the concept. A big challenge many businesses face today is that the data they have about their customers is not always clean often inaccurate, sometimes even misleading. Hi everyone, my name is Fan Du, research scientist at Adobe. I will demo Project Segment Tuner, an artificial intelligence that can help businesses review their customer data and repair all kinds of data quality issues. Let's get to it. Let me role play a marketer who is running a campaign for a new show. Here, I have already created a list of segments which represent different groups of audiences. We have movie lovers, television viewers, and video gamers. Since my new show is a comedy, I will go with comedy movie fans. In Adobe Experience Platform, I can see the segment I just selected. It includes people who are between 25 to 32 years old, live in California, and opt in for receiving emails from us. The population is about 100,000, which looks perfect. Here, the data quality score seems really low. Our machine learning framework Adobe Sensei detects that only 37% of the profiles are actually accurate. Wow, I think we're having a serious data quality issue, which I wouldn't know at all without Segment Tuner. The good news is, Sensei also has six recommendations to help us. Let's take a look. Here, the data quality map allows us to visually interact with the data. Not a surprise, the profiles contain tons of information about our audiences. Thanks to these visualizations, I can still see that red means bad, age, different location attributes, and email attributes all untrustworthy. On the side are the recommendations from Sensei for how to fix it. Let's take a look. The first recommendation suggests us to include adjacent age group in our selection, and it estimates that this will give us 34,000 additional audience members. That looks promising. Let's see what the analysis say. Here, Sensei shows us the data distribution by age group, which explains why it made us this recommendation. It looks like our current selection only matched a narrow population among those who love comedy movies. And Sensei has found us a lot of high quality profiles with age group just adjacent to our selection. I think it makes a lot of sense to include them in our segment. I will accept this recommendation for sure. The system is live, and we can see the change being applied. The next recommendation is about how we named California. Hmm, good job, Sensei, for scanning millions of records for us and detecting all these aliases. I can see CA, Cal State, Cal. They all look like legit values may be created by different teams at different times. I think it makes a lot of sense to accept this recommendation and unify them. Actually, I think this inconsistency will also trouble my fellow marketers. So I will check this and notify the data engineers to apply this rule everywhere. Last but not least, emails. Let me ask you all one question. How many times have you sent an email out and it bounced back just because you type in the wrong address. I bet we have all done it from time to time. And this problem will get much bigger 
when a business sends thousands of emails to customers every single day. According to Sensei's analysis, although we have a lot of people who opt in for receiving emails, there are quite a few of them are not really valid email addresses. I never know we have so many invalid emails in the data. We should definitely accept this recommendation. Although it's going to reduce our audience size, it's going to save us a lot of wasted effort. OK, let's wrap up and see how we're doing with our segment. Thanks to Sensei's recommendations, our audience size has actually increased by about 39,000. And the data quality has improved drastically to a very healthy status. Wow, wasn't that easy? We have just cleaned out our data, and our campaign will run much more smoothly, all with just a couple of clicks. Thanks for watching. Be sure to vote for Segment Tuner if you also have data to clean. Nice work, Fan. It's super cool to see the way that you've applied artificial intelligence and machine learning to simplify what is often very challenging to do. Let's hope that this makes it in the product soon. Yeah.